Hi, welcome to the Wardenburg Family Farm with Don and Brenda. Today we're working on the newest room in the farmhouse, the great room. We're going to redecorate, put a sense of our own personal style and history into this space. Here's one of the elements in the room that brings a sense of history. This wall here is the exterior wall of the 1840 farmhouse. You can see it's a timber frame construction with brick between the, the timbers. And if you look closely, you can see nail holes and lines where the original clapboard was attached. So the folks that did the previous renovation, I give them a lot of credit for leaving this exposed so you can see what the original house construction was. Here's how the room looked when we first bought it. Just a basic gold paint with the white trim. I did like the white trim. It was a big room though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a very big room. It turns out being our family room and our, our dining room. And the one thing I didn't like in the room was the fireplace. It looks like brick, but it's actually a faux brick because it's concrete. And when you get close to it, it's not very attractive. No, it's kind of on the tacky and side. And the brick is very conflicting with the natural brick on the house right beside it. Now we did live with everything that way for quite a while. We just kind of moved in and hunkered down and stayed. We did find an entertainment center on Facebook Marketplace. And this is a temporary setup with a little TV we had. You'll see later how we incorporated that with our big TV and some real cool construction. And then finally, the day came that we were ready to paint the room. You sure you got the color right this time? Ha ha ha. <laughs> yes, I did. Hello. Well, we're working on the great room today. We've got all the furniture moved in the center of the room, and now we're doing the prep work. As I always say, you have to do the sanding and the prep work to have a good outcome. Isn't that right, Jake? Is that what he says, Jake? <laughs> That's what Jake says. We listen to Jake. Yeah. I'm only doing the extra prep work today because uh, our son Jake contractor is making us do it right. So we really should do the sanding. So. We appreciate Jake. Yeah, right now it's definitely in process. It's going to look very different by the end of the day. Well, we're just about ready to finish covering up the last of the old color. It was a gold. Now it's a beautiful kind of a gray green. It's called Escape Gray. So the room is being transformed. It looks great with the old original brick wall. Having fun, dear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the painting all done but then I still had these boring dull windows I had to come up with some kind of a curtain so I hit Pinterest and found this cute idea for curtains made with a board and some hooks so I went out to the barn to find some of the most weathered looking wood I could find and here's old oak that was on the fencing so I cleaned it up and I put some boiled linseed oil on it and it brought out the warmth and character in that wood and I ended up with a Pinterest worthy curtain now I still had the big window across the other room and I had to figure out something with that that would go with the other window. So I just kind of altered the Pinterest idea and came up with an idea for the big one. And I'm happy with how they both turned out. Wow, it's been a busy day. What are you doing now, dear? For the first coat of color on the mantle. Awesome. Fireplace project. So what do we have in the colors here? The walls are escape gray, kind of a green gray. I forget what the mantle's called, it's just darker. Same color but darker. But it's in the same family? Same family. Okay, I'm gonna get the overall effect here. Okay. It's getting there. Get the wood on tomorrow, it'll look really good. So, it's a gas fireplace with the brick all around. We painted black in the center and then we're putting wood trim around it and dark. So it's going to be a, uh, a dark green fireplace with uh, like a black insert. Looks great. 
After we painted the mantle and the hearth, we wanted to put fine pine wood to cover up the brick. So we stretched our carpentry ability and made some nice cuts. And I think it came out real nice. I am thrilled with the finished product. It looks so much better than that tacky fake brick. It is softer and warmer and wow, it, looks great. Yeah, it just makes me want to sit in front of the fire. Okay, here's the entertainment center, and it was a project all of its own. Obviously, the old entertainment centers won't work because they won't accommodate new TVs. We were able to find a newer entertainment center that had two separate piers and shelves that could accommodate wider TVs, and it was adjustable to any width that you needed. So I put together a beadboard backing to secure both piers together and then I painted it with a green that's a little darker, but in the same family as the walls. And I think it came together nicely. I also like because the TV's inset a little bit and it prevents reflections and shadows on the TV screen. Remember, here's what it looked like before, just with the gold walls and white trim, and here it is after. And there's that beautiful entertainment center that Donnie did. And here's another angle before with that ugly fireplace. And here it is after. And that fireplace is so much prettier. Now there were still two things in the room that just didn't feel quite right. Number one, we needed a coat rack. And number two, that opening between the family room and the kitchen just seemed big and cold to us. We wanted to somehow close that in a little bit and warm it up. So I went back out to the barn to look through some of the old original materials from the farmhouse and we found these old doors. What are you up to today, dear? Putting a coat of primer on the doors that we sanded and cleaned up outside. And since it's cold and rainy, we decided to bring them inside to do the primer. So. And where did we get these doors? Yeah, this is door is original with the farm here. It's a 180 year old door. So you can imagine it had some various layers of nasty paint. And we're putting a good coat of primer on it first, and then we're gonna paint it. So. This uh, door here is going to be used for, what, a hat rack, coat like rack? Like a coat rack. Coat rack over by the door, which we really need because It's going right to go now, right there. We get lazy, we just throw them on the chair. There's the where couch, our coats wind up. And it makes a mess, <laughs> which I'm okay with, but somebody else here isn't. <laughs> and then uh, we have two doors over there that we worked on that are also original with the house. They were part of bifolding doors in the... 1880 edition, and we're going to use them to kind of frame up our uh, entryway between the great room and the kitchen. And where did we find them at? Uh, they were up in one of the pole buildings up in the attic, laying on the truss. So they've been up there a long time. Treasures hiding in the attic. Yeah. So it's great to use all of the original pieces and kind of bring keep the character back here at the farm. So. Um, I'll take a look and see when we make a little more progress, see, see how we do. So, do you think we needed a coat rack? <laughs> Three hooks on the right are mine, and the one on the left is yours, That's right? about the size of it. He has a lot of coats. Now, this is what it looks like all winter, but look how pretty it is. This is what it looks like in the summer. It, it turned out very nice. Yeah, and if you look closely, you can see that specialized old cracked paint look. People pay a lot of money for that, but for me, it just turns out I was lazy and scraping and sanding. <laughs> it turned out beautiful. These are the two bifold doors that we use to put between the kitchen and the family room. It adds a lot of warmth and brings a new color. It ties in with the coat rack on the opposite side of the room. It just gives it a finished feel and makes, it feel, makes both rooms feel a little bit cozier. And it gave you a little more wall space on the kitchen side to put a rack too. Yep, it? it gave me some use on the kitchen side. Here's a farm table that I built using cherry from the sawmill at the local forest. 
It's got wings on either side and it's big enough to accommodate our whole family. At the end of the table, I built a hutch that has old pine flooring in it in the back. And uh, we painted the hutch to match the green that you have in the room. Isn't he great at turning old stuff into beautiful things? <laughs> We felt like the room still needed one more touch. Something maybe with a sense of history and the farm. Anybody have any idea what this is? Well, here's a little clue. Know what it's used for? They actually removed some of the old hay racks to put in more modern stanchions for the cattle. So we recycled the rack. And there it is. And I bet nobody else has that on Pinterest. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us and watching how we transform the great room into something we are very comfortable with. You know, I was thinking we're almost running out of rooms to redecorate. We still have the guest bathroom, which is gonna be a big challenge. Yeah, we'll have to strip that down to the bare studs of plumbing. So, big job coming, maybe next winter. Soon. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. It's gonna be the hardest room to do. It's the smallest, but the hardest. <laughs> Stay tuned. That's no, true. that makes it sound like it's going to be the next video. That's true. Okay. Take two. You shouldn't try to get cute. Okay. Which is going to be a big challenge. It's going to have to be gutted, so that'll be future video someday. You could Bye. <laughs> you told me not to say anything cute or stupid. <laughs> well, you say, we'll see you in the next video. Something like that. Okay. All right, I'll say that. You talk about it. I'll just say we have the guest bathroom, and then you talk about the bathroom, and then I'll say goodbye. Okay. Okay?